Hello and welcome to People's Dispatch. Today we are joined by Shada Aude, the General Director of the Palestinian Health Work Committees. And we're going to be talking about this COVID-19 situation in Palestine. We know that in the past couple of days, there has been a case of reported community infection in Gaza. There has been a lockdown. But also over the past few months, there have been a number of cases reported. So we would like to talk to Shada about some of these issues. Thank you so much for joining us. So could you first give us a quick uh, outline of what's happening right now, both, of course, in Gaza, but also in the West Bank regarding the COVID-19 situation? What has been the trajectory of the disease as well? Okay, uh, thank you for this kind of important uh, interview and give us the space uh, to talk about our uh, situation and our response to COVID-19. Uh, uh, in general, you know that in, uh, as a Palestinian, we are under incubation, so we have uh, the problem will be uh, double uh, because of the procedure uh, uh, of the incubation and because of the COVID-19. Uh, so, uh, and the, the life uh, for uh, people in West Bank and Gaza is, is difficult because of this uh, condition, because we consider incubation undermine the livelihood of the people at different level uh, uh, concerning the economic status, concerning the right to movement and uh, to reach to and to have the access uh, to the services that uh, uh, available, for example, in the West Bank, and people should they come from Gaza to be treated in uh, in the hospitals in the West Bank. This needs uh, security permissions, okay. and most of the permission uh, for uh, uh, Gazan people denied uh, by the Israeli uh, securities, and uh, you know they need to cross the borders, and uh, the human rights organization always uh, document uh, percent uh, or, or high percent of the people, uh, patient uh, of cancer, patient of heart disease, patient of uh, dialysis, uh, are uh, waiting and waiting. Uh, and uh, they are also uh, subject to compromise uh, uh, to, uh, to give them information uh, uh, if they want them uh, to uh, enter and take a permission for uh, uh, to be treated in uh, the West Bank. And also uh, people in the West Bank also suffer from difficulties to enter Jerusalem. Uh, Jerusalem also, uh, if I, we, I am uh, uh, live in, uh, in parts in the West Bank and need to be treated to the, in the hospital, in the Arab hospital inside Jerusalem, uh, in East Jerusalem, I'm talking exactly, uh, I need also a security permission. So many people also, they, they refuse their... Uh, uh, security permit to give them security permission, so they were undermined to uh, reach this uh, uh, hospital. Uh, so this uh, our right uh, to uh, to have an access for uh, medical, uh, uh, supervision and medical treatment is uh, uh, intensified by Israeli occupation, and now because of also uh, COVID nineteen, our healthcare system is not ready to handle of this kind of uh, pandemic uh, virus, but that's why the, uh, the healthcare system in Palestine and the Palestinian Authority, they took an intensive measures uh, as a preventive measures. They, uh, the lockdown for a uh, uh, long period, uh, uh, because uh, really our hospital is not capable uh, to have uh, difficult cases and they need intensive care uh, treatment. And uh, uh, sorry to say that that uh, also the capacity the capacity of our existing the equipment uh, uh, and shortage of staff and medical staff uh, also uh, still co consider one of our uh, uh, conditions. And uh, lately, because uh, most <coughs> sorry and most of uh, medical equipment, medical supplies, uh, 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 devices uh, uh, need to be imported from outside the country because we don't have uh, factors or we are dependent on the Israeli uh, market. And, uh, 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 and uh, lately, because of the Israeli uh, 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 closure and uh, century deal uh, uh, by uh, the American side and the Israeli side and the annexation of the lands, uh, 
they cut the, the relation uh, between the Israeli and the coordination of the security and the movement uh, uh, from uh, uh, between Israeli side and the Palestinian side. This also, uh, uh, we respect this, uh, uh, this position by the uh, Palestinian Authority and uh, we, uh, to, 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 uh, to maintain our uh, rights and uh, uh, our uh, self-determination. Right. Uh, also, this affects our life at the level of economic status and at the level of the health uh, situation. There is a lot of uh, also workers, uh, uh, Palestinian workers, they work inside uh, uh, the area of 1948 inside Israel. And uh, there is a, a Palestinian uh, position that uh, uh, they ask, ask the workers uh, uh, to um, not to go inside the settlements for work or inside Israel because they do not treat it uh, uh, very well and they discriminate against them in terms of uh, testing them or giving them uh, all the protection uh, they needed. So the source of uh, the first source of uh, COVID-19 were coming from. Uh, the workers inside uh, the, the settlement and inside the Israeli side. And uh, people, uh, the Palestinian Authority, they, uh, they took an action to examine the workers who, who came and, uh, from uh, the Israeli side and ask them not to go again uh, 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 unless after uh, 14 days. Mm -hmm. We found that the, uh, the Israeli uh, uh, side, they opened illegal uh, opening in the walls uh, instead of cross borders um, uh, to let the, uh, the workers to go and um, not to go in, in, in the direct uh, way because in the direct way if they went in this uh, area in this uh, way uh, the Palestinian they know so they give them an Israeli they give an alternative they open around 300 area uh, it's an illegal opening. Uh, to let the worker uh, go uh, through. This is one part. Also, the condition that, for example, in Palestinian uh, side, they, uh, they decide to do lockdown and to give uh, extra uh, measures uh, to fight the, uh, the COVID-19 because we don't have that much enough uh, hospital equipped with, uh, uh, with high quality of uh, and uh, of people uh, and medical staff and equipment, so um, we found that uh, uh, in Jerusalem and in the Israeli part, uh, 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 they do not have this kind of precaution. They decided to let everything open, and uh, if people are, have the COVID nineteen. Okay, they will go to the uh, for treatment, but will uh, let the life uh, go. So many people come came from Jerusalem who have Jerusalem ID. They came people, the Arabs uh, inside the area 148. Also, they came to the Palestinian uh, side for uh, to visit the, the families for marketing and so on. This is another source of uh, uh, the uh, that the, the, there is a discrepancy between the procedures that the Palestinian Authority put and the procedure that the Israeli side put. And because it's still the borders open, because there, there is an area inside the, inside the West Bank is not under the Palestinian control, like the area C, according to Oslo Accord. Uh, you find people, for example, they do not follow the precaution. Uh, they have weddings, uh, parties, uh, because they said you are not having a, uh, control on our uh, in our areas. Even they are took uh, services from the Palestinian uh, Authority. So the yes, the the situation is very complicated on on the ground. Uh, in, uh, uh, because yeah, for example, I'm living in a city and surrounded by villages uh, around my uh, around the, the city of Ramallah. Part of these uh, villages it's considered area C. So in Ramallah, they are, for example, uh, people, they follow the, uh, uh, the lockdown uh, procedures. People in the villages, because they are uh, area C, they are under the control of Palestinian uh, authority, they do not follow. And they are, uh, go to the, and travel to the, to, for example, to the city and, and the opposite. 
So this is yes, uh, make the the the, uh, the, uh, uh, the difficulties in uh, following the protocols and uh, procedures. Um, uh, this is in one side. Uh, in, uh, according to Gaza, you know, all the people that they know that uh, there is a political division since long time, and uh, uh, Gaza is under uh, siege uh, more than 12 years now, and uh, they were subject to three wars uh, by Israeli. So the uh, Gaza is in under. Uh, uh, lives a uh, very difficult uh, situation in, in terms of livelihood, daily livelihood. There is a high bo- uh, level of poverty, high level of employment, uh, high level, uh, they, 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 they are uh, under siege. Uh, they can't travel outside, they can't come to West Bank. Uh, now, uh, and also the, they, the healthcare system suffer uh, from uh, shortage of uh, uh, medication, shortage of uh, equipment, uh, always they need fuel for the generators. Uh, the hospital uh, have difficulty to operate uh, because of the lack of electricity, the lack uh, of uh, uh, drinkable water, uh, because they found that uh, most of the water inside uh, Gaza is uh, uh, contaminated. And uh, uh, this condition become worse and worse because of uh, COVID. Recently, there is a cases uh, uh, start in Gaza, which uh, threaten the and uh, make the situation in Gaza. Uh, I hope that will uh, be safe and be safety for them because uh, uh, we were we are very worried about uh, the situation in Gaza if COVID-19 become more pandemic. Even it is uh, the borders is closed. Even they are under the siege. Uh, one case came to uh, from Gaza to Jerusalem to, for, to do treatment for her uh, uh, child. Uh, he needed a surgery and she were infected and she returned back uh, to Gaza. And now there is uh, another cases infected and they found that local, case, local, uh, local cases infected and they don't know the source. Even the uh, border are closed, but uh, um, we don't know uh, if they have enough current uh, Guarantee areas. We don't know if uh, the hospitals is uh, sufficient and ready to uh, to face uh, the situation there. And uh, even in West Bank, I'm talking about West Bank National Organization here, and they support the Palestinian uh, Authority and the Palestinian healthcare system. But uh, in Gaza, uh, the situation is more difficult. Um, the access for uh, all the supplies, all the medications is uh, uh, it's hard to be reachable for uh, for the people uh, there. Yes, uh, this is because of uh, both the the political division, uh, because of occupation and their procedure and and the harmful procedure. I can say it because there is a bombing over uh, parts of Jerusalem recently, and also because of the COVID uh, uh, nineteen in general. Viene cantar que vamos a triunfar, avanzañar.